Good evening and coming to you live from his newly constructed kitchen in his home, the singing chef Huang Ji. Hey, how you guys doing? All right, I am so thank you, thank you. No, please sit down, yeah, sit down. Thank you. thank you. All right, I am so happy to come today with you with a new uh, recipe. What I'm going to be cooking today is grilled chicken breast with potatoes and veggies inside of a boat. And you're probably thinking, a boat? You're gonna make it in a boat? No. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make aluminum boats and prepare them in this and put them in the grill. So I'm super excited to do this today. So just stay tuned and make sure that you follow this recipe. And if you do, give this a thumbs up, a like, a share. And uh, yeah, thank you for following and looking at the videos. I'm so happy to make this uh, for you guys today. All right, so first, like always, I'm gonna put on my gloves because since I'm gonna be working with chicken, I always like to wear my, uh, you know, black gloves for safety reasons. And I am just here excited to be cooking with you guys today because I am truly blessed and highly favored. <laughs> I saw that in a movie and uh, one of my favorite drag queens, Heidi and Closet, she uses that mantra very often. All right, so folks, you just cut your aluminum foil and I already have some chicken that I have had marinating in my refrigerator for a day or two now, and I have it here. So this is my chicken that I am gonna be using. What I have here is some chicken breast, and I have it marinated, and I'm just gonna make a boat and cut some delicious veggies and potatoes and uh, have it grilling in uh, my grill here. So, yeah. What you have to do is just take a few chunks of chicken, put it on your aluminum foil. It smells fantastic, by the way, because it's been marinating for a couple of hours. All right. So I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. So we have here our chicken breast in our aluminum foil. All right, so now we're just going to place that aside here. And we're going to start cutting up some vegetables. So here I have a fresh red pepper that has been washed and cleaned, so I'm just gonna chop that up. I just had that in my basket of awesomeness. All right, so since we're working with chicken and we do not wanna contaminate our vegetables, we take it off, put it in the garbage bowl, as I always say Rachel Ray says. So since I didn't touch the chicken with this hand, I just uh, am going to cut and dice up my red pepper as well as a green pepper some potato celery all right so just going to give this a rough chop awesome So I'm so happy because I had a good 4th of July. I hope you as well, you all had a nice 4th of July. I uh, was originally going to have a cookout, but since, you know, 4th of July is a very popular holiday, the parks got very full very quickly. So we just stood home, watched movies. We did grilling in the house. And yeah, we just cooked here and we just had a good old time. So I'm almost done chopping up the red pepper. I'm gonna grab now the green pepper. This is fantastic, because they're very beautiful. This time of year, the peppers are very beautiful because as you know, they're in season. So we're just going to give it a nice rough chop. And this is gonna go inside of our boats. And I have some broccoli as well that I'm going to uh, boil. All right, so as you chop, you can just add it to your uh, boats, the red pepper, and just chop and add as you go. And we'll chop up the green one and it's gonna be amazing. 
So I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna uh, be on the video so long to show you guys how it looks. I'm going to take pictures and upload it on my Instagram account, which is the singing chef Huang Ji. And as well, tomorrow I'll be uploading the video on my Facebook when I am finally unblocked. So that will go up around 9 a.m. All right. So you grab your green pepper. It's fresh and it's nice and it's washed and it's beautiful. So if you guys want to order my food, what you can do is go to my Facebook business page, which is the same handle, The Singing Chef Wang Ji, and you can DM me there uh, if you want to have your personalized meal uh, made, you can design your own meal and I will prepare for you. Also another feature that I have, I can go to your home and be a personal chef to you. You could uh, request a menu and we could create a budget and create a uh grocery menu that you uh grocery list to add to the menu and we could go shopping together and we can uh have your meal cooked for you at the comfort of your home from the singing chef Wangji. so if you're interested in these features uh you could go to my yelp or you could go to doordash and order as well or if you want to order these features just go to facebook instagram dm me or you could go to the whatsapp business uh page and message me there and we will definitely uh, schedule that appointment for you. All right, so, so far we have red peppers, green peppers. Now I'm going to chop up the celery and put it into our boat. So these have been washed and I put them back in the bag. So we're gonna chop up a few of these celery pieces and just dice them up and put them in our boats. So I'm gonna take about two. The spurs. Place it back in the bag. Save it for later. So we have some chopped celery now. We're gonna add that to the boat. Then we're gonna add some potatoes. The potatoes, we have to dice them uh, very in a nice fine cubes because they are gonna be in the grill and we want them to cook well and through. So we're gonna add those as well and chop them nice and fine. All right, so here I have some potatoes that I have washed and I have uh, peeled and we're definitely gonna use it now. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't peel them. I just washed them and then I just rubbed them down. All right, so we're just gonna give them a nice rough chop. Put them into our boat. Let's cut up a few more pieces. And we're gonna add some salt and uh, some adobo for the potatoes, cause the meat is already pretty well marinated. So this is for the potatoes. And we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on top. And it's gonna be fantastic. So we're just going to grab here our olive oil from our pantry. 
All right, so here I use Goya Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's one of my favorite olive oils. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top. All right. Add some salt and some adobo. And here on my stovetop, I have some water that has been boiling for a while now. It's very hot. And I am excited to put my broccoli in there. I'm gonna chop that up in a second. But now I'm gonna add some salt and adobo to the boat. salt all right and we have some adobo in our basket of awesomeness right here this is just for the salt uh, for the potato kind of feel like a Puerto Rican salt bay <laughs> another thing I love to add from our basket of awesomeness is lemon pepper this gives the auntie fee she used to uh, go for this all the time she used to swear by this lemon pepper and it gives it such a good flavor all right just for some garnish what we're going to use is some oregano from the basket of awesomeness oregano all right and i want to show you how these look midway closed so just give me a second and I'm gonna wrap these up real quick. Just midway for you can see how it's going to look. And then I'll completely close it. All right, so here we have our little boat. Our chicken is in the bottom. We have some red and green peppers, some celery, some potatoes some cilantro, lemon pepper, adobo, salt. And you saw how easy it was to do it. We did it in less than 10 minutes. So if you wanna do this at home, it's very simple, follow the recipe. If you don't like cooking, you could book me to do it at your home and I'll uh, charge you a very affordable price. So uh, try this at home, very delicious. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. And this is the singing chef Wong Ji coming to you this evening with a nice show. And I always like to close with a prayer, so I just want to say, Father God, we bless this food, that you bless this with your hands, that it was you that cooked this, and bless everybody that's watching and those who are going to continue to watch to nourish their bellies and have a good evening and continue to be blessed in your holy name. And we pray, amen. Have a good night and God bless, guys. Bye.